Aki, it took you more than 30 hours to get to Rwanda and you spent about a week there. So what did you learn about how this nation aimed to become a hub for drone delivery? So it's interesting. It's really a strange confluence of events that led to what's happening in Rwanda today. Basically, what happened was back in 2015, Zipline's founders approached a number of African governments with this idea of doing drone delivery, um, something in healthcare. And it was actually the Rwandan government that was the most enthusiastic and willing to change its regulations to make this possible. And it was the government that um, also suggested starting out with blood. And your character there, Abdullah, he is this drone delivery operator. I mean, how big could this type of career become in the future? I think it's certainly really promising. I mean, obviously, Zipline isn't the only company that's trying to make this happen right now. Uh, some of the biggest companies in the world, right, Amazon, Google, they're all trying to make this happen. But of course, uh, governments around the world need to deregulate their skies to make this even possible. For example, in the U.S., um, you need to have all autonomous drones within eyesight of the pilot. Um, there are a couple exceptions with some trials right now, but that would obviously need to change for some kind of nationwide drone delivery service to happen here. So it's pretty impressive that Zipline has already done all of these tests and is commercially operating. Are they actually ahead of the game compared to what Google's trying to do, Amazon? I would certainly say, yeah, they're ahead of the game when it comes to uh, running a day-to-day -day service, right? Um, Zipline has already made more than 8,000 flights, uh, carrying about 15,000 units of blood. So that kind of real-world day-to-day experience, it's, and, and also the data that they're collecting, it's hard to beat that. And Abdul has such a moving story in your piece. I mean, what is next for him, and what's next for the company that he's working for? I mean, he's an incredibly talented guy and very ambitious. Um, he's studying for grad school right now, uh, potentially to go into robotics. He's looking at some overseas grad schools right now. Um, and for Zipline, I would say the next thing is um, they're waiting to hear back from the Rwanda Civil Aviation Authority to start a new distribution center in eastern Rwanda. So that would allow them to deliver to a lot more hospitals and they have some um, agreements with other African governments as well.